Hello everyone. We are back with a new tutorial today. This tutorial is going to be about Tixi. Tixi is a package that is used in LaTeX for creating images, good quality images. So let me explain what I'm using here. So this is the document class article, which is necessary for any LaTeX article. I'm using two different packages here. This is actually the package for Tixi and this is the extensions. So if you want your images to have different shapes, arrows, shadows for those shapes. So for that kind of stuff, you need these extensions. Then I have this begin document and end document. Now to order, uh, to, in order to create a picture, you need to use this begin Tixi picture and end Tixi picture. Now let's start with a very basic shape, a circle. So you say draw then you specify the coordinates of the center point for a circle then you write circle and then you specify the radius so that's good enough to draw a circle you need a center point and you need a radius if i run it so we have a circle here that's perfect but the circle doesn't look that good maybe you can add a little style to it if you want it to be dashed the um, perimeter of the circle if you want it to be dashed instead of solid, you could say style equals to dashed. Then let's create an ellipse. For that, what you could do is that draw. Now let's create it at the same center point as circle. Now the difference, as you know, between an ellipse and a circle is that an ellipse takes two different radiuses. So one is for the x-axis, the second one is for the y-axis. Don't make a mistake, I always confuse this and with a comma. So remember it's a and, not a comma. Oops, did I make a mistake? Okay, here, spelling mistake. Ellipse, let's run it. So we have a perfect ellipse here. So it took the y-axis as three and x-axis as two. So on x-axis, it meets the circle. Good enough. If you want to, um, fill it with um, something, you could say fill equals to blue. So it will create that color. It will fill it with that color. But then our, our um, circle is gone. So what I'll do is um, I'll try to put that and you can barely say it. So if I say fill equals to red, it will be prominent. Okay. So now we're good with ellipse and circle you see how the order matters the z order it's it appears in the order you put it in the document now let's create a rectangle for a rectangle the same thing you go draw then you specify the lower corner maybe you want to start at zero zero and then you say rectangle i hope i don't make a typing mistake this time rectangle and four four why not Let's try this one. So there you have a rectangle 0, 0 to 4, 4. All the styles and um, those fill, style, everything applies to all the shapes that we are talking about here. Now if you want to create a little complex stuff, for instance, if you want to create, uh, mm, let's see, let us create something that involves an arc okay let's try this so I'll start here one and two and then from there I'll go plus 30 to one and then I create an arc so just just see what happens here if I say 30 80 one, this is one. Okay. Then I want to cycle. Now what it will do is it will create a shape like this. So um, if you want to make it bigger, <coughs> let me make this four too. So 
So here we're telling it that start at 1, 2, go to plus 30, which is 30, 4. So let me show you what happens here. So here you're saying this plus actually adds to these coordinates. So you're saying that from this point, go to that point. So drawing nothing but a simple line. And then you're drawing an arc. That arc goes from 30, actually it should go from 40 now, through 80 and then comes back at 4. Let me show you. So it's a little perfect here. So it starts at this point where we left here. So that point. And then it has an angle of 40, 80. So at an angle of 80, it goes back to the second point, which is 4. So let me change this angle. So the angle, you control the angle from here. So at what angle it should go? If you say 180, what happens? That's what happens. Okay, and you can still apply all the shapes that you want. Fill equals to, um, let me say I want the red color, but not the entire, okay, that might. Okay. So we'll talk about this in a later um, tutorial when we talk about the colors, but um, this is the basic idea. So you, this is how you create an arc. You give an angle, you give the starting point, and then you give the ending point. Okay, so I'll stop here. And if you have questions, just leave a comment at quicklatex.blogspot.com. Thank you.